Hi, this is Marlene, and I'm going to sit with you. I'm going to be with you. I'm going to keep you company. You're going to hear the sounds of my voice. My voice is going to be with you at this extremely difficult transitional time. You may have just recently received the devastating news that you have just lost someone you truly loved. Someone you loved is no longer on the earth. You can't hear their voice and you can't see them and they can't touch you with their hands. And this is almost impossible to believe. The early stages of grief are about shock and denial. The brain and the mind and the soul protect each other from going through this change and this transition so rapidly by putting the mind into a suspended state of disbelief where you can ease through this transition of acceptance at a very slow pace. And the news can be so severe that you're just suspended, that you could be numb, that you don't know what to feel. You could be focusing on others and not allowing yourself to feel at this time where it is just too hard to experience the devastating emotions and the sadness and the feeling of being overwhelmed is just too much. So you're choosing to help others cope. Younger people, children, older people, closer loved ones, or maybe you are the closest loved one. Either way, I am here with you at this extremely difficult time. Out of a pure act of empathy from one soul to another who understands what it's like to be in this suspended time, this transitional time before acceptance settles in after your loved one has crossed over. And we say crossed over that the soul transitions to another plane of existence and the soul may have ascended and this person may have been ill for a long time or this person may have been taken from you in a very sudden, tragic, very sad way that might not make any sense. Either way, at this time, I'm going to ask you to simply let those facts go. Your mind does not need to race with those facts. Your mind does not have to worry about details. The most important thing for you to do right now is sit with yourself and sit with your emotions and sit in this suspended state in time and gain a moment of stillness with yourself and I am here with you. I am going to sit with you for a moment and you don't have to feel. You can continue to be numb and you're just going to get a moment's peace and quiet from all the different things that are happening, from all the talk, from all the events, from the people bustling around, or maybe from the lack of support. And I have another meditation that's about that. Either way, we're going to take a few moments to simply relax. 
Because as you relax and lie down and self comfort and simply snuggle with yourself, and this may be so hard if you're a widow or a widower right now, and you're so used to lying next to your loved one and that person isn't there, or you have lost your child and so you're so used to the routine of seeing your child to bed and now you have some extra time. But you're going to take this extra time and you're going to be with yourself because you're still so important. Your emotions are so important. Simply going through this transition step by step carefully and methodically with extra care, attention, and attentiveness, even for just a few brief moments a day, to yourself is of paramount importance. Because as you lie back and you just sit in the peace of feeling your own self-comfort, and breathe through the overwhelming emotions. We're gonna begin to open up to the possibility that someday soon, or even right now, you can reconnect with your loved one through memories or through creating a space that you can reconnect with them in a different way. You're going to inhale and exhale and simply just be with yourself and self comfort. And you can pull the covers up and you can put a pillow behind you, behind your back, and a pillow in front. And you can self soothe for a few brief moments as it is so important to do so. You're so worthy of this love and maybe you didn't even have the time to do this before. Maybe this change has presented you now with some extra time for self-care. Allow yourself to indulge in that opportunity. Ease and allow yourself to relax into your own self-love because once you have reestablished this connection with yourself, you can begin to take the necessary steps that you need to do to get yourself some external grief support. Because even that takes time and energy, which you might not even have right now. When you're in shock, the brain simply can't take in new information. It goes into survival mode and it can't process new information at the speed that you're used to. You may have been a very high functioning, multitasked person and you may not be able to do that right now and that's okay. And if you push yourself to do that, you might become irritable and become verbally snappy at those around you are resentful. So allow yourself to go slower. Take the time you need to heal. Prioritize your own wellness. You deserve this. In other cultures, people wear black for three months and everyone understands that they have gone through a loss and they are allowed this time to heal. In this culture, we're not allowed that. The expectation is that after three to five days, we're gonna be able to get right back in to the rat race and on the treadmill and perform the way we used to at the same level of functioning. But that simply may not be possible for you or most people because the loss is so great that you need time to transition and to adjust. 
and the good people around you, the people with emotional intelligence will understand this and the people without that will not. But you don't have to worry about them because as you are obtaining emotional intelligence by going through this extremely difficult time as it will build resilience and it will strengthen your survival instincts you will begin to detach from those around you who can't support you as they will not be necessary as you go through this transition only the people who know how to be supportive will be necessary for you the others you can just simply emotionally detach from and not allow them to take from you protect yourself and for those that are weaker or who are more affected you will still have the strength and the compassion to be there for them most of the time as your resilience will grow another part of your brain will open up and you will begin to be more loving more compassionate and kinder just like with the birth of a child and a part of your brain opens up with the death of a loved one another part of your brain opens up and you have incredible spiritual strength understanding and power this is called the power of love and you're about to realize how strong love is how it transcends even death how now that your loved one has transitioned into another plane of existence yet the love you have for them is still growing it still exists you still love this person more than ever and if there's some anger and some unforgiveness as you release that and you go through the process of forgiveness you will really know the power of love within forgiveness and it will transcend time and space and continue to relax into yourself and the power and the nurturing and the beauty of your own love for yourself as you take this time to self comfort and allow your brain and your mind and your soul and even your body to transition through this extremely difficult change just breathe into it and allow it just breathe into it there can be a moment in time where this change can be so overwhelming that it is so cold as time stands still it can almost seem like time is frozen but if you go to a very special quiet place even in your bed and you create a beautiful sacred space for yourself with something that smells beautiful flowers or incense or a cologne that reminds you of your loved one and your pillows and your blankets and all your favorite things and your most comfortable clothing or pajamas and you self-soothe you will begin to feel warm again the warmth of your own love and the warmth of the beautiful people around you whether they be on this earth or they're watching over as they haven't quite transcended yet they still may be remaining behind to help you through this transition as you realize the power of love you will feel the one you lost still coming and going through the veil of the dimension as they are healing and accepting their own loss they have compassion for you and they may be grieving too the loss of being with you on this earth all the time you needn't worry nor feel their pain 
as they have the power of spirit and they don't have the prison of the body to encumber them. They can come and go through the doorway and they can sit with you and help you heal. And in another meditation, we will talk about that. But for now, we're simply going to focus in on you and taking this time to sit in peace, serenity, and silence of your own self-love. And if you have a child or another loved one, you can bring them into this environment and teach them this. You can hold them or hug them and teach them how to self-soothe. From this place, you can begin to release the numbness and very slowly feel the pain and allow yourself to cry for only a moment and then you can stop when it becomes so overwhelming. You can breathe into it and get through it a little at a time a moment at a time, an hour at a time, and then you can detach and stop and go back into the safety of shock or the security of even a little bit of denial. And then you can go back and release and flow into acceptance as you feel surrounded by the power of love and the presence, the presence of the spirit of your loved one as they are sitting with you and their beautiful spirit will help you through this difficult time and as you ease into silence and stillness you'll begin to open up and feel the gentle stirrings and the very new beginnings of this early new connection with your loved one who has transitioned out of the body and away from the earth from time to time. Fall asleep, rest in peace for a moment as you are on this earth and you can open your eyes whenever you want. If you need to feel the security of the earth under your feet or the feelings of things like blankets and beds under your fingers. You can do that at any time. Or if you want to simply transition into the safety and the comfort of sleep, as in the morning, the beauty and the innocence of the first steerings of morning, you'll be able to awaken. And it is your choice to still be on this earth even without your loved one in this new time and space and the life that you will build without your loved one in their body. Just fall asleep if you choose or wake up if you choose. It is your choice. However, be ever so gentle with yourself. Go in peace, live in peace, you can find me again in the very next meditation. My voice will be here to sit with you and help you through this difficult process of transitioning into your life without your loved one. I will be here with you every step of the way each time you find my voice to make this transition a little easier from one 
human being to another with pure 